boys, it's Dan. Welcome to game week number 32 of the Premier League. We are getting to that stage of the season where if you're Arsenal or Man City, you can't drop points. And if you're down in a relegation fight, you cannot lose extra ground in the relegation battle. We also have the FA Cup semi-finals in this video as well before we get started hit that like button and also subscribe right down there and let's get into the premier league game week number 32 predictions start off with league leaders arsenal versus bottom of the table southampton yes southampton well like arsenal have taken two points in the last two games Drew 2-2, drew 2-all against um, Liverpool and then drew 2-all against West Ham. Literally the same as it was in the last video, as the last game. Had a 2 goal lead, binned it. They were 2 up at half time and couldn't hold a lead. But I mean, Arsenal this time should be able to win this game. I think Southampton are going to get where get down to the championship. Now I'm going to say it will be South. Uh, it'll be Arsenal three, Southampton nil. And this week's guest, we've got him on for his debut, but for his return to the predictions, it is Mr. T. Awesome. He's back, boys. Hello, Dan. Thank you for having me on for predictions again. Um, this so we have Arsenal versus Southampton as the first game of this weekend in the Premier League on Friday. Um, I see Arsenal completely beating Southampton 3-0. Southampton are rooted to the bottom of the table. Arsenal are flying on top of the table currently. Um, and I don't think they would want to make any little slip-ups against teams they should really be beating against because they're title contending with City. Um, so easy win for Arsenal there. Thank you. Now you move to Fulham versus Leeds. Now Leeds and I have shared 11 goals in two games to Palace and then at home to Liverpool. Honest, and Fulham, I didn't think Fulham would be this high up in the table, to be honest. At this, early, at this point in the league, I didn't think Fulham would be that high in the Premier League. I don't think anyone predicted them to be that high in the Premier League. No one did, I don't think. Not even me. Not, not even me. Not, 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 not even me. But, I mean, anything's possible, though. I mean... If you're if you're Leeds, you're looking over your shoulder with West Ham approaching with Forest approaching you, Leicester as well. But you're also looking above you as well with West Ham and Wolves and Bournemouth and Palace all streaking and beginning to to streak away. But I think Fulham will have far too much. I'm gonna go two 0 Fulham. It'll be a comfortable two 0 to Fulham in this game. And this is. Mr. T. Awesome, what are you going for in is this Fulham game? Versus Fulham, Fulham versus Leeds. Um, Leeds are a struggling team and Fulham are doing well above expectations. Um, none of us really expected Fulham to be here, um, but here, here we are. So I expect Fulham to <clears throat> easily dispatch of, of, of Leeds. Leeds have just got bad by Liverpool. Um, I don't think that they have any confidence like that, especially against somebody that's above them in the table in tenth. Um, so unfortunately for Fulham, I mean unfortunately for Fulham, unfortunately for Leeds, um, it's gonna be ooh two two one. I say I say two one, but I dominate in two one. I don't no, think it's gonna be. Like I move um, to Brentford versus Aston Villa. Now this game has complications at the top. Villa are fighting for your for those European champions for those European spots. So are Brentford as well. Brentford as well. I can't really see. I mean, I can see Villa doing something here, but Brentford are at home. I mean, how good Brentford are at the Detect Community Stadium. But I mean, I can't see him doing too much. I honestly can't see him losing this Villa. Well, the four they've been. So I'm going to say it'll be a close, but 2-1 to Aston Villa in this game. And Mr. T. Awesome, I agree with me, mate. 
Oh, you not dead. Oh, Next game, what, Brentford you versus like, Aston Villa. Now, now Aston Villa and Brentford are um, two teams that I, that I never saw this happening. Um, Fulham, Fulham, Aston Villa have only lost three games since the turning of the year of January, since January 1st, which is absolutely crazy. Unai Emery has done something that none of us really saw coming. Um, and Ollie Watkins last week was looking like a very competent striker for once. So I, I see an Aston Villa victory, even though Brentford, they've, oh, Brentford at home. Ooh. Do you know what? I'm going to say 2-0 Aston Villa. 2-0 Aston Villa. Um, even though Brentford will be at home, I still feel like how well Aston Villa have been and only to lose three games since January 1st, they're, they're definitely on a roll and they're trying to hunt for that top four. And can they move to Crystal Palace versus Everton? Yes, Crystal Palace are flying, flying high in the Premier League. And Everton... In that bottom half relegation fight, level on points with Forest, but goal difference is keeping them near intact. I mean, they did just, I mean, I can't see much happening in this game. I can see it being a palace, I, I can see it being a palace win under Roy Hodgson because boy, is he got that team playing very good football right now. He got a lot more out than Vieira was doing. What on earth was Patrick Vieira doing to that team? Honestly, I do not know. Palace to win it 3 0. When Crystal Palace to heap more misery on Sean Dice and his Everton team. And Mr. T. Awesome, what are you saying in Is the. Crystal Palace match? versus Everton now. Everton are still floating at the bottom of the table. Um, they're just ahead on Nottingham Forest on goal difference. So. <laughs> Um, I do not see them posing any threat to the Crystal Crystal Palace where Roy Hudson has them playing amazing football, um, better than what Vieira could have provided. So, in my opinion, it's going to be a 3-0 Crystal Palace um, win uh, and I cannot wait for Crystal Palace to keep going with this nice momentum so they don't get, so they can look decent in the Prem next season, hopefully. Thank you, they move to Leicester versus Wolves. Now, this is a game on the bottom of the table between two teams that <coughs> shouldn't be here. Leicester City were Premier League champions five, six years ago, and now they're fighting to stay in the league. So are Wolves as well. I mean, Wolves were in Europe in their first season, in the Premier League, second season in the Premier League. Now they're fighting down the bottom. Wolves are actually above the drop zone. Mm -hmm. But Leicester... Less, less, but let's start in. Let's do a 19th in the league. And if and if Dean Smith doesn't get his players going, he'll be he'll be down. They'll be they'll be down. And I am going to say it will be a scrappy, but it'll be a one. Both teams will cancel. Both teams will cancel each other out. And Mister T Awesome, what are you saying in this game? This is Leicester game? City versus Wolves. Leicester, they are in the relegation scrap, which. Is really weird to be saying because none of us really saw this coming. Um, I, I, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I see Wolves completely just just getting rid of them two 0 Um, I don't think that Leicester could have any fight in them. Unfortunately, um, they took too long to fire um Brendan Rodgers, and it's kind of kind of bit them in the butt. And we move um, to the last game on the Saturday, which is Liverpool versus Nottingham Forest. Now, Liverpool against Forest. What can we say? Forest, they they, they did win the, rever the reverse fixture of 1 0 thanks to a Wongi's strike. But Liverpool have had, I mean, Liverpool's form is up and down. They did beat Leeds 6 0, 6 1. They did draw to Arsenal. They've had two good drops in two, games, in, two games, in, in two weeks, Liverpool. But Forest. Forest are trying to keep up their fight to stay in the league. But I think, I mean, Forest, I can't see Forest getting us out of this game. I really can't. So I'm going to say it will be Liverpool 4, Forest 0. Liverpool will shed even more goals and most other will bag. 
because they, they may appeal. And Mr. T awesome, what you saying in are, this in... game? Next game is Liverpool versus Nottingham Forest. Um, Nottingham Forest, with all the signings they've made, they, they're still trying to survive in the Premier League, which is crazy. They spent so much money this year. Um, and they're going against an informed Liverpool side who will feel like they have the most confidence in the world after completely dispatching of Leeds. And if they're playing against teams that they should be beating, um, like they played against Leeds, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I feel so sorry for Nottingham Forest. You're probably going to end up getting battered as well. Um, I'm going to say for... I might, I might be... Might be pushing a boat out here, but I'm going to say 4-0. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be um, a, a, a back and forth affair. Um... After how they played against Leeds, I'm... Now we move to the Sunday. And another game down the bottom. This is Bournemouth versus West Ham. Now, West Ham did take points from the Arsenal on the weekend. <clears throat> and Bournemouth did beat... And, they, and, and Bournemouth did beat Leicester. But we know that both these teams are fighting, fighting, fighting to stay in the English top flight of the Premier League. One team will have to lose, but I don't think they will. I think it will be another close game. I'm going to go with a two or draw in this game between Bournemouth and West Ham because neither the team, West Ham are still focusing on, I mean, the European battle at the moment with, with Conference League, trying to get that one. And Bournemouth are trying to send both. I mean, I mean, both the team now that I've to play for trying to stay in the league is our main point for both, both of them. Two all draw, and Mr. Mr. T. Awesome, what next are you games. saying in this um, game? Next game on Sunday, we've got two games on Sunday. We have Bournemouth versus West Ham and Newcastle versus Tottenham. Um, Bournemouth versus West Ham, I am going to say that Bournemouth. Ooh, it's Bournemouth at home, isn't it? Bournemouth at home are a different team. But compared to West Ham away, because I feel like with West Ham, mm, I I don't I don't I don't feel like maybe it's just my bias of because of the how the Arsenal result was, but maybe maybe I'm just talking the truth. Um, I do, I see um I see Bournemouth beating. Actually, no, do you know what? I don't even see them beating them. I say it's gonna be a draw. I think it's gonna be a one 0 draw. I think both teams will score. Um, I don't think it'll be a 0 nil affair. It's probably gonna be a one 0 draw. Um, and we move to the last that. Premier League game. Of the game week, which is third, the fifth, Newcastle versus Spurs. Now, Newcastle United. Sorry, this is fourth, the fifth. This is fourth, the fifth. Sorry, this is fourth, the fifth. Sorry, so I'm just gonna not the third. <laughs> so Newcastle dropped points. Both these teams last time out dropped points. So Manchester had won to to cement their place, but. More less on last time night less and more Newcastle versus Spurs. It is going to be a close one, I think. Spurs. I mean, who wants to go to Spurs anyway? Company, I don't like blame them. Company, I don't know in his career because he's he'll probably start burning because he because you got he, he got them up. But Newcastle could get European football if Villa don't, don't come knocking out not knocking in the door not knock. But I mean, could be anything right now, and I will say. It will be two one to Newcastle United, and they will now take one big step to top four. And for the last time in the Premier League predictions, it's a T awesome. What are you saying? Game. Um, Tottenham are a question mark. Nobody really knows what to think of Tottenham. Every manager in the world is 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 avoiding joining them. Um, nobody wants to go there. Uh, they Vincent Company just turned them down, uh, which is great because he shouldn't be getting his career destroyed by Tottenham. Um, so honestly, for this game, I see Newcastle beating them three one. Um, I feel like a game a goal from Harry Kane again because he's literally been the only bright spark the whole season because Son hasn't even been appearing that much either. So yeah, unfortunately for them, Newcastle are gonna end up beating them, which is which is gonna make major implications on the table this year. But um, well, the, the, well, on the table this point at this point, I said this year. Um, anyway, um, thank you Dan for having me on for. The thank you, man. That will bring a Premier League video to an end. But do not click 
off the video because we have got the FA Cup semi-finals the 22nd and the 23rd of April at Wembley to see who will play each other in the final and we start with Manchester City versus Sheffield United. Yes, you've heard that quickly. Sheffield United, who could be in the Premier League next season, the only championship representative in the last four of the, of the FA Cup. But what are we going to say in this game? What will happen? Will 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 will, will Man City win? Probably more m most likely, but it is at Wembley, so it is a neutral neutral ground. 50-50 fans, not all half fans, half stadium, so half man, half NC, half Sheffield United. Yorkshire versus Manchester. And I will say Man City I'm gonna say it'll be a tough Two, game. One Man City and Mr T Awesome. What are you saying in the first of two semi finals? Hello Dan, thank you for having me on for predictions again. Um, this week we have in the FA Cup semi-final Man United versus Brighton and Man City versus Sheffield now I want to start the City game I think City will run a rotated squad not fully rotated but slightly rotated squad um, because I feel obviously they need to try to keep as many players rested for um, a Champions League run which are currently still in you never know what can happen against Bayern um, in the second leg um, but they are currently in at the time of this recording also, you, they're in a title fight with Arsenal. So, they're probably going to run a rotated squad because um, they don't want to get too many injuries and everything else because of the fixtures coming up. And they also have the, the Arsenal game as well coming up. So, um, it's going to be a rotated squad, um, but I still think they're going to they're gonna win against against Sheffield. It's gonna, probably going to be 3-1. Halan to score. I don't know how many, but he's definitely going to score because that robot just doesn't To the game that's on a Sunday. And I'm not working, so there will be a live reaction. Brighton. Versus Manchester United. Now United have got injury problems, like I mentioned, like I have mentioned before. No Martinez injured, Varane injured, Maguire suspended. Shaw is actually fit. They announced today him and Rashford are both back in training and Malaysia. That could be huge. Because if Shaw isn't in, if Shaw's not fit, we have one defender in Lindelof. So it could be Lindelof and Shaw in the back to four with maybe Dallow or Malaysia or Ramasaka at right back or left back. Yeah, so that will be how we'll play it. Brighton without Veltman and Ferguson. I mean, to be fair, if now I'm feeling a little bit more confident, but I am a, a, a little bit nervous though. If Rashford, if we can, if we can get Rashford fit, he's only, he's only on this. I think he's on the plane going to, about to head off to Sevilla to play the in the Europa League against Sevilla, Sevilla. But well, you've you've already seen the result, obviously. You, you you've seen the result, so yeah. I'm gonna say Manchester United to win it two 0 and join Manchester City in. You rate the FA Cup final and Mr. T Awesome for the last time. What are you saying in um, the second? And then with final? the United versus Brighton game, it's going to be very interesting. Um, United are out are without uh, Sandro Martinez, which is a massive blow for them. So they have to rely on Maguire, who we all know is more of a liability for United than he is a positive um so there's probably gonna end up being a tight game just off that alone Matoma might turn up um as well and if he does it's gonna be even more of a tricky situation for United's defense um so I'm probably gonna say it will be 2-1 United um it's gonna be a close game it's not gonna be an, an, a cakewalk like the City game it's gonna be a lot more harder for them so easily going to end up being 2-1 United. I still have faith in them to beat them because I really want a United versus City final. It will be amazing. Like the ten the intensity of both rivals like battling over the FA Cup is just what you really want to see. You love to see it. It'll be beautiful to see. So hopefully United make it, City make it, and then I can sit there as a neutral with a smile on my face. Um good luck to you guys this weekend. Hopefully you guys do win and so I can really enjoy the game and have a massive smile on my face <laughs> as a neutral. But thank you for having me on, Dan, for predictions. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and good luck. 
the Premier League slash FA Cup predictions to an end. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all on next Friday because the Champions League, I don't think I'll be back soon. We need to see on the of the Champions League quite soon. That will be on a different video than it will be because I'll probably have to have a bit of a wet arrest and stuff. So, yeah, I'll see you all on Friday. No, actually, I'll see you all sat, um, Sunday evening for Brighton versus Man United in the FA Cup. So, until then, boys, have a lovely weekend. Who will come out? Will Arsenal extend the gap or will who will win a race in the bottom half? Find out. See you guys later. Peace.